We'll guide you through how to connect your PS5 controller to Steam. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and also liking the video. Firstly, you need to decide how you want to go and connect your controller. Either you can connect it using a wired method or Bluetooth. If you want to go and use a wire, then just go and grab a USB-A to USB-C and you can just use the charging cable that your controller came with and plug the USB-C end into the controller, into the charging port up here, and then just plug the other end into your PC. When you connect your controller, it will glow orange like this and it'll make some colors, and this means that it's successfully connected. Here's how you can connect your controller using Bluetooth, as then you don't have to use a wire. So firstly, just go and open up your settings. To do this, just click on the start button at the bottom and then click on settings, or alternatively, you can go and search for it. In the settings, go over to the left where it says Bluetooth and devices. And then what you want to do is click on add a device up here or down here, and then click on Bluetooth. And so now we need to put our controller into Bluetooth pairing mode. To do that, you hold this button here and the PlayStation button. So I'm gonna hold that like this, and you keep holding these until your controller starts flashing blue. Just like that, and that means your controller is in pairing mode and your controller will then go and appear in this section here. So go and click on it. Once your controller is connected, it will then have a solid blue light. So after it's connected, then what you can do is go and close off your Bluetooth and we can go and open up Steam. Once you're in Steam, what you then need to do is go to the top left and go and click on Steam like this, and then go into settings, and then go down to controller, and you need to make sure Enable Steam input for PlayStation controllers has been toggled on like this. And then what you can do is go into test device inputs, click on big game test, and you can then go and see my controller working. And that's it. Now what you can do is head into your Steam library and go and start playing games. And of course, what you can also do as well is click on add a game in the bottom and add non-Steam games so you can then go and use your controller on those non-Steam games. And just remember that in some of these games, they're going to have their own controller settings, which you can go and customize.